Should a job search prevent you from being yourself, especially when being yourself includes having visible piercings and tattoos? What if it affects your chances of being hired? Do you even view such persons as responsible? Most people who are associated with the so-called tattoo dreadlocks, they have a pattern of looking unserious, do all manners of things in certain funny ways, so that even if you tend to have responsible ones these days doing them, they are viewed to be like those people. Hmm. So an average human being wants to distance himself from such people who are done such tattoos and the rest. Just like you see that mostly before you see army, I mean police officers, they take it that where you will see criminals mostly are pubs, hotels, and all those kind of places. It does not mean that you don't have responsible people going to such places. But they know that if you want to find criminals, mostly that is where you are going to get them. And that is why they always warn our younger ones. If you are in the public transport system, you will see that the kind of people they are looking for are those people who are looking for me, hmm. mostly. And I don't know why that seems to be like that. Yes, we know that somebody might look decent, you know, wear trims and all those, and still be a criminal. But there's something particular about those people who are done those things we are talking about, the dreadlock, the tattoos, and the rest. It seems to be the way of all these bad people, criminals, and funny human beings. I really want to say for the piercing, tattoo, dreadlock is a no, no, no for me uh, because in our society today, we, 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 we are not known for that. So if any person who dresses in, on dreadlock and uh, with tattoo and piercing, we just have this mindset that such individual is irresponsible. And mm. we always look at that person as a prime suspect if there is a crime scene or anything that happens there because it's not our culture. It is a borrowed, uh, uh, it's a borrowed lifestyle that we adopt from the Western world without knowing the meaning why those things are, are done. So we just copy. And I think if, if, if we can trace the origin of why are they putting up that too, why, you see some girls, they will pierce two in on their, in, on their nose. I wonder if they can breathe well with it. <laughs> they, will, they will use the earring to carve the shape of their ears. Some even go as far as piercing their tongue. So he acts, and he's looking so irritating. Hmm. So I don't know where, where we got that culture from. Piercing, tattoo, uh, dreadlock. Those are all personal um, to whoever adorns them, right? Yeah, um, but in this part of the world, naturally you would, you would, uh, you would see people who really um, are tech gurus, people who are captains of industry, even, and people are, who are opinion leaders in some sectors have tattoos here and there. Uh, it doesn't diminish whatever they have upstairs. It doesn't take off whatever they can contribute uh, to the organization, so to say. I personally work in the financial service sector. I've been there for like two decades and a half. And there was a time we had an issue and um, in the tech sector. And it was some young dude that uh, had tattoos and uh, dreadlocks all over and backpack carrying guys that came to resolve it. All the guys with the lovely white ties and <laughs> white shirts and red ties couldn't do jack. Sorry, so really, sorry, Ken. Repeat, repeat what you said. You said it was the have. tattoo and the dreadlock carry guys. Hello? Yes, yes. That came to resolve yes, the they problem. they were the ones that were able to resolve it. Hmm. So really, it's not about what they have on their body. It's about what they have upstairs. But unfortunately, around here, you see some... Uh, there's this um, tag of anyone that has that is actually a mystery. Hmm. Uh, 
about someone who's doing something that is not uh, legal. You know, so for me, really, as long as you don't let those things affect what you do for me, mm. as long as mm. pose like in the corporate world, if you can have your tattoos. I know some colleagues who do have tattoos, but they never let it show whenever they are at work. They never mm. wear anything that let it show. Mm. You know, I mean, that's personal to them. And they still do their job. They're high-flying guys, and they speak to uh, uh, the executives and do all what they need to do. It doesn't mm-hmm. diminish whatever they have of them. Okay. So I think it's just that cultural thing of we looking at them, that stigma of, okay, anybody that has this, has tattoo on him and all of that. Is that for even, even, and I don't want to believe that, uh, it's because we are following social media and all of that. Because my great-grandmother had a tattoo on her hand. On her hand. All right. Thank you, Ken.